Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer on the Victolic tools for Revit software. Today I wanted to talk about a tool that we have in the toolbar called the Systemizer. Now this tool is a selection-based tool for setting piping systems. Now sometimes within Revit, uh, the connectivity within Revit is great, but sometimes it makes some decisions for you in setting piping systems that you wouldn't necessarily agree with. So this tool is meant that you can highlight components, you can set the systems uh, just based on your selection. This tool is of course going to work with piping systems, but it'll also work with duct systems, and there's some tools in there that can help assist with fabrication parts as well. I'm joined today by Jim Gleason from our VDC. He's a technologist and software administrator here, and he's going to show you a little bit about how the systemizer can help him in his everyday work. So looking at this boiler room here, I can see that uh, there's something not quite right. Uh, now this dark red is our heating water supply, uh, which looks somewhat correct. However, I can see I have supply and I should have a heating water return uh, going into this boiler, but it is not. So what I want to use is the systemizer to fix that. And I can see just by clicking on my piping and I look down at my properties that it is indeed as a heating water supply system. So this is a selection based tool. Um, and just to simplify my selection, I am going to make a little physical disconnect on my system here. So here's a little physical disconnect. Here's my, uh, my common connection. So I'm going to want all of my water coming straight into the room, going up into the boilers as my return. And then afterwards, I'll connect and make that common connection there. So I'll just tab through until I have everything selected there. Go to Victolic Tools and the Systemizer. And right now the Systemizer is showing me what system uh, all those components are currently on. If I had multiple systems uh, selected, that would be blank. And I want to change this from an M heating water supply to a heating water return. I'll hit OK. And right there, you can see that it did in fact change the color. If I click on the piping, you can see that it changed it to that uh, HWR heating water return system. So now I just need to connect that common pipe there. And you know what? I'll just use our AnyConnect tool. And I'll click on one T. I'll click on the one right next to it. And there I have my connection. That's good to go. Now another situation that you could run into where the systemizer will come in handy are when you're trying to connect multiple systems around maybe something like a control valve. Um, Revit's gotten a little bit better with trying to keep systems separate, but it still comes up short from time to time. And I'm just going to jump into a plan view here. And here I just want to connect uh, this blue line into these green ones here. So I have a, a chilled water and I have a tempered chilled water systems up here and I want to connect it up into this mixing valve. So I can just use Revit to click and drag that connector in and you can see it is still keeping those items somewhat separate. However, um, if I'm not quite done with this system and things need to change, you know, maybe I need to put in a valve down at the bottom of this So here I have my valve, I could easily rotate that down, but you know what, actually I want to flip that valve around. So here you can see that when I flipped my valve, uh, Revit improperly applied the system. It regenerated a portion of the pipe and then it saw a system that was attached and said, oh, well then you must be a part of this. So obviously that's not correct. What I want to do is redefine some of this stuff then as that chilled water supply. So I could even do something like finish off and connect in a T here. And it's going to start to really get a little crazy. But once I have it a lot closer to where I need it to be, so I'll select that coupling and switch it out with a flange. So here I have in all the components that I need. They just don't happen to be on the right system. But I can make that selection go right on through. Go to Vic Tools Systemizer, 
And here it's not showing me a system because I have multiple systems in my selection, but I know I want this all to be a chilled water supply. I'll select chilled water supply, hit OK. And now I can see it's all dark blue. I have my connections right up to that mixing valve and we are good to go. All right, Jim, thanks. So like I said earlier, this is a tool that you can use with, with pipe and with duct. So let's go off to the side here. We're gonna draw a little bit of duct. I'll hit DT on my keyboard. We'll draw some reasonably sized duct. Now it's gonna default as coming in as supply. Uh, but let's say you had a piece of equipment in the middle and you wanted half of this to be return. Uh, it's really as easy as just making a selection, going up to the systemizer, either in the modify ribbon here or in the Victaulic Tools ribbon. It shows you where you are, your supply air. Let's change that to return. And you'll see that the color changed, or half of it's supply and half of it is return. So I switched over to a project that has fabrication pipe work in there. Now depending on how you have your fabrication services set up, we have some customers that organize their library by piping system, so this wouldn't necessarily apply to them, but we also have some customers that use their fabrication services like their pipe types within Revit, and this would be a great tool to be able to set your piping systems for those types of customers. So with the absence of piping systems in fabrication services set up this way, wouldn't it be nice if we could utilize the piping systems that are already set up within Revit, utilize their information, and apply that to fabrication parts? And that's what we've done in the optional parameter section of the systemizer. So what you could do at any point is set up some filters within your view. And I'm going to hit VV right here and bring up some of the filters that I have set up. I have a filter that I created called the Fab CHWS, which looks at the VIC system PT parameter. And if it says CHWS, it uses blue lines. If it uses, if it says CHWR, it uses green lines. So taking the same idea that we use with family piping systems, you could highlight some portion of your fabrication model and use the systemizer up here in the modify ribbon. Now it doesn't have a system applied to it because it's fabrication parts, but you can apply all of these systems to it. So I'm gonna use chilled water supply right here. Now in the optional parameter settings, I have system abbreviation populating into the VIC system PT parameter. There's some other options here. You could put the system name in any parameter and if you had a material parameter, you could put the specified system material into a material parameter in your project. So I'll click OK on this, and you'll see that the color has turned to blue. So now we have some visual indicators to tell you what piping system your fabrication parts are on within your Revit model. I'll do the same for this side, and we'll call this return. So that's the Victaulic Tools Systemizer, a selection-based utility that's meant to set piping systems and also some optional parameters, and hopefully it saved you some time setting your piping systems. Thanks for watching.